Hello and welcome to another video on Shopify Foundations certification, uh, particularly the POS and retailers. Right, this this section three, the introduction to POS and retails. So this is. A quick introduction uh, and, and I'm going to make a quick recap over the entire course uh, of at least from this model. First to understand more about what is this uh, and what Shopify POS is for as well as uh, what or, or how Shopify POS benefits in merchants okay so to understand a little bit more of the pos uh, we need to look at the history and you may wonder what in the f do i want to look at that this is just to get helpful context about why you are learning this okay what and why you are learning this so the POS history can be traced back according to the National Museum of American History, the Smithsonian. So, in the late of 1880s, so at the end of the North American Civil War, a lot of business and store owners uh, need to hire strangers to assist customers. And for these strangers, it was very, very, very easy to pocket money from their customers. So everything changed when James Reedy, do, 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 James Reedy, here, James Reedy, here. So James Reedy from Dayton, Ohio. So Dayton, Ohio, here, okay. Dayton, uh, I would like to visit that city perhaps someday uh but for that it's like i would like to know dayton um i think they have a lot of bad reputation dayton here uh but yeah dayton ohio right so close to uh close to illinois Okay, mm, Chicago's in Illinois. Mm, interesting. So now I expanding is a little bit more my geography knowledge uh, from the U.S. Okay, so it makes a lot of sense. Okay, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so yeah, so James Reedy from Dayton. From Dayton, Ohio. Okay. So Dayton, Ohio. Okay. From this city. Yeah. So everything changed uh, when James Reedy from Dayton, Ohio, invented the first mechanical cash register. So this machine, it only count and print a recipe so the readers were out of business and their patent were were bought by john henry patterson uh, the the nc and owner okay so he after that bought a uh, create a company called the national cash register which uh, not only dedicate to build this cash register, but also to uh, electronics uh, such as like ATN and POS. So this Shopify POS provide everything you need as a merchant to sell in person and online. So this model from here, da, 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 so this, so, thanks, James Reedy, Dayton, Ohio. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, from the Shopify Partner Program, 
intro to POS and repel here. So this model, we're gonna teach us how to help merchants to increase sales, save operation time when using this POS system and increase customer retentions. So if you are uh, someone that wants to help merchants with their pop-up shops or uh, store owner in the brick and mortar locations okay perhaps you also want to find new ways to increase your revenue as a shop as a shopify partner or if you're an affiliate you want us to know how this works and teach your audience about it so in my case, it's all of them. <laughs> Pretty straightforward because this is what I find value by knowing how to how this tool works and what it does and what is the value uh, that I can provide, especially to the POS uh, or to the merchants. All right, so. What is this? Uh, so, what is it for this POS? Okay, it's for re brick and mortar retailers up to 1000 locations. So, cafes and restaurants is not a good fit for them. They have the dedicated software, so for example, like KDS, kitchen display systems that actually handle uh, operations from uh, between the kitchens and the uh, with the uh, other part of your restaurant regulated industry such as like pharmaceutical so Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, these North American multinational companies uh, or Roche and Ro Roche uh, Roche in well, this Swiss multinational company, Sanofi, this French uh, multinational company, GSK, British multinational company. So, healthcare and other financial service, this is not a good fit for them because this kind of industry are heavily regulated, so they need to meet strict compliance. Okay. And for merchants or businesses who sell uh, using or who sell items uh, on volumes, length and size, uh, these fractional pricing, so Shopify POS is not a good fit for them. Again, there are several applications that try to mimic this behavior, but this is something that uh, the, the course says that is not for them. Again, you can do that, uh, but uh, you will not get the most success from it. Anyway, so merchants are commonly selling uh, yeah, merchants are commonly selling uh, things like apparel, shoes, sporting goods, boutique style groceries, furniture, uh, as well as, uh, how do you call it, uh, arts and crafts, electronics. So Shopify POS and Shopify POS channels are accessible by anyone. So if you have, for example, integrated payment like Shopify payment, which provide you is uh, this payment processing, so accept payments from popular payment methods and process them. So Shopify payments uh, is not uh, available for all countries is very uh, store location specific as well as the third party 
providers uh, or as well as this third party uh, hardware okay but in any case generally uh, Shopify POS is used by so uh, Shopify POS are used exactly so Shopify POS are used by I want to know the subtle difference between when to use S and when to use R because I think this is something very 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 important I think. Generally here is exactly like Shopify POS is okay. So I will like I would like to ask here, for example, ChatGPT here. I would like to ask ChatGPT, hey, when to use S and R? When to use S and R? Because when we talk about a gnome, okay, so S is used with singular objects. And R is used with plural objects. Okay, keep that. Keep in mind that R is sections and nuance in English grammar. But this is a basic rule that apply in many cases. If the subject is a singular noun, for example, dog, cat, house, you generally use S. You generally use S. If the subject is a plural, so dogs, cats, okay, they are playing exactly. So you use R, okay, that makes a lot of sense, okay, singular and plural, again, this is for most cases. So, Shopify POS is generally used by brick and mortar locations, okay, so those uh, stores that have a physical location where they sell in person and online as well. Or for casual sellers, meaning business that attends to events like farmer markets, trade show like Comic Con, okay? This in Spanish will be eventos intercambio, okay? uh, or eventos, okay? Trade show, mm, uh, as well as uh, pop ups, okay? So, with this, I also look at a case study from uh, Ryzen, this German brand founded in 2007, in 2016, uh, dedicated to all sporting goods, uh, yep, yeah, dedicated to all sporting goods. So, they enjoy to yeah so they enjoy to increase more than 40 if more than 40 percent customer conversions uh, in store okay uh, as well as increase of 35 percent sales and sell across multiple channels uh, in, in, in yeah, and sell across multiple channels in uh, in sell across ten channels. I think it is. So the mention is here. This case of study uh, in multiple across except in multiple across channels. So multiple selling channels. Uh, yeah, multiple sell so multiple selling channels with ten countries, okay, four language and three currency. So their flagship stores are exactly their flagship store is 
on uh, Cologne, Germany. Uh, whereas now they recently opened a new store uh, in Giron, Spain. Makes a lot of sense. Completely. It makes it makes it makes a lot of sense, really. <laughs> so now that I know who Shopify POS is for, okay, then uh, I want to know how Shopify POS help merchants. So because Shopify see itself as this operating system platform built for omni-channel commerce, and omni-channel is a business strategy that aims to improve the buying experience across any sale channel okay so for example here and i want to recap repeat this again uh, because this is something that i want to do that uh, so only channels according to oracle so only channel uh, yeah, so only channel is this uh, so only channel right so only channel is this business strategy that aims to provide a seamless buying experience across all channels to merchants okay so for example, you as a merchant or you as a business, you want to provide is perhaps a unified buying experience across all of your sales channels, mobile, online, and in persons, or a custom one per sell channel. Okay, so that's the aim of Shopify. Okay, so the aim is to be the platform built for only channel commerce makes sense makes sense so with this now as a merchant you can have everything all of the different pieces in your business sync across all systems without losing a cell all right the question is that how <laughs> you know how shopify pos create value for merchants oh well so by providing a unified admin tools where merchants can see is uh, all of their where merchants can manage daily operations as well as a having a holistic overview of performance across all channels so merchants can have accurate uh, so merchants can have an accurate level of inventory they have a unified uh, customer profile where they can offer is affordable shipping methods since these customers can check out everywhere you sell okay which gives the flexibility as uh, merchants so now you can uh, sell your products across different sales channels uh, which give flexibility to customers to browse and buy your products so by having this unified profile account okay and this set of diverse cross channels you can assist so you can shop for your customers where and when they need to meaning you as a merchant so if your customers want to buy in a particular sell channel let's say the mobile because it's more quickly okay so now you can show is their particular buying experience for them and you already have their data their this uh, profile accounts where they can see that uh, and update their cards they see all uh, all their orders and that kind of things so the idea here is to build customer 
relationships and turn them into profits. Because Shopify say, hey, uh, because Shopify recognize, according to the Shopify program, Shopify recognize that the cost of having a, so the cost to acquire a new client is significantly higher than the cost to retain an existing one. So this is true for small business and for any well-established uh, business or mature business that enter into a new market phase. So Shopify provides uh, all of these tools so you can leverage them by reducing the marketing expense, increase sales and customer conversions and as well as customer retention. So they provide tools uh, that your uh, so yeah they provide tools to allow to manage your customer relationships, build loyalty programs, okay, and offer a a wonderful buying experience. So this is the couple of things, broadly speaking, okay, Shopify POS provide uh, to customers. One of the value that they provide to merchants, uh, especially if they want to turn customer relationship into revenue, this is the way they do. And also, uh, it provides a flexible, smart grid. Uh, it provides a, a flexible, uh, smart grid in the POS that allow to easily customize uh, your POS experience and improve your efficiency. So this is something helpful because especially for training and onboarding new staff, you actually uh, speed up that process. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, that makes that makes that makes a lot of a lot of a lot of, a lot of sense. So four things that Shopify POS help to merchants okay, is provide an unify admin tools with all the tools that it needs uh, to allow your customer checkout everywhere and then turn your customer relationship into revenue and for staff or yourself you can easily customize the look and feel and the experience of your Shopify POS uh, to improve efficiency so you can add in there is product, catalog, discount, uh, loyalty programs, and make it and make the training and onboarding process much more easy for your staff. Okay, okay, okay. And then I look at what are the tools that Shopify offer beyond the online store and the POS because after all. Shopify uh, provides that kind of thing. So, okay. No, right. <laughs> He's like, oh, right. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, right. Exactly, it's like, all right. Interesting. So Shopify merchants gain access to a platform uh, that offer is payment, okay? With Shopify payments, so you cannot process a Shopify payment to you, just this. Okay.
Okay, so Shopify offer uh, Shopify offer more than just a online store and a point of sale. Okay, so you get the payments. This is one of the features that Shopify provide to merchants. Payments. Okay, payments. Uh, simple process enable merchants to begin selling weekly. You you may wonder is how, okay? Because with the Shopify payment, start getting paid for that from the popular payment methods like this. So payment to so start getting paid or start. Uh, getting paid mm -hmm. start getting paid from do, 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 start getting paid from uh, credit credit cards and popular payment methods okay such as visa mastercard exactly such as visa mastercard American Express this uh, this company that it is it is very interesting this company because this was founded circa 1853 1850 American Express here American Express circa 1853 or foundation year from uh, foundation year okay Holy F. All right. Uh, so yeah, American Express. So, uh, Buffalo, New York. All right. Okay. Yeah, Buffalo, New York. Really? This amount of really sixty sixty two. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. All right, interesting, 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 very, 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 very interesting. Interesting. Anyway, um, so yeah, so American Express was founded in 1850. Jesus. <laughs> so American American Express was founded in F. It's like, what in the F, man? <laughs> so, American Express was founded in 1850. Uh, and this is one of the popular payment methods accepted uh, that Shopify payments allow merchants to start uh, getting paid through credit card or the most pay or the most popular payment uh, methods uh, visa mastercard american express uh, google pay google pay apple pay shop pay okay uh, paypal is another one okay uh, so yeah okay the other uh, and with payments, uh, this is actually something that is uh, store, spe uh, store location specific, meaning that you can uh, enjoy of this. Uh, yeah, you can enjoy this. Yep, you can enjoy this. Uh, 
payment processing so you can enjoy from this system or this accepting and um, payment processor uh, in all countries okay again mm -hmm. for individuals and small business for this get your first three months from for one month for analysis try Shopify for free okay uh, so yeah so this is Shopify payments right Shopify payments all right very narrow specific this the others are channels so merchants can promote and sell their products or service uh, beyond the online store okay and all exactly and boost sales by selling across multiple channels okay so merchants can promote and sell beyond the online store okay and only store to boost sales while tracking all of them from one place which is good which is one of the things that i have uh, described early one of the benefits of that you can have an holistic overview performance of all channels and manage daily business operations makes sense the other uh, feature is fulfillment I wasn't aware of this and this is something interesting to know because this fulfillment uh, how do you call this in Spanish? Uh, I think it is entrega o cumplimiento, fulfilling, accomplishment, fulfilling, realización, okay. uh, la realización, uh, no, fulfillment o, o entrega. Come on, what the hell? Is it? Uh, in Spanish. So in Spanish, in Spanish, yeah. realización, satisfacción, ejecución, desempeño, logro, fulfillment, plenitud, culminación, fulfill, satisfacer. Uh, but this is more contextual. Uh, mm -hmm. This is more contextual, okay. Mm, I hope, okay, fulfillment. Uh, entre satisfacción. May I say, you know, fulfillment. Okay, eating is the fulfillment of a basic need. Personal fulfillment is vital to be happy. Realización, cumplimiento, satis satisfacción. Okay, so fulfillment can be translated into satisfacción, realización. Okay, oh, sinónimos, uh, re sinónimos, realization, sinónimos, uh, sinónimos de realización. Uh, I can ask ChatGPT about it. Yeah, it's like what the hell is it with this? Change it with the some of the realization. Uh, ejecución, cumplimiento, logro, materialización, consumación, desarrollo, efectuación, finalización, finalización. Fulfillment will be is that finalization in this context, right? Cumplimiento, fulfillment, cumplimiento. Okay. Cumplimiento. Let's count. Cumplimiento. Exactly. Por el cumplimiento de la orden. In Spanish, cumplimiento. It's more like this. Fulfillment in Spanish is cumplimiento. Entonces, tú completas la orden. So, with fulfillment, 
uh, with Shopify handling fulfillment, which is awesome. Uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, interesting. Very, 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 very interesting, by the way. Okay, makes a lot of sense. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah, 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 totally, man. <laughs> so fulfillment. So with Shopify handling fulfillment, product storage, and return, merchants can focus on running their business. So Shopify handles fulfillment. You know, Shopify, Shopify handles fulfillment. Mm -hmm. So Shopify handles fulfillment, uh, fulfillment, full, full, fulfillment, fulfillment, exactly. So Shopify handles fulfillment, fulfill, fulfillment, yep. So Shopify handles fulfillment. Fulfillment. Okay. So Shopify handles fulfillment. So Shopify handles fulfillment, product storage, and refund. But not only refunds, because it's also returns. And return, exactly. And return. So learn more about this. So drive sales with fast, affordable, deliverable. <laughs> this is one of the power of the copywriters, right? This is one of the power of this. Do you know how they use this? You know, is this kind of sentence is like actions. They're not using is uh, ENG verbs. They're using imperative verb. They, they use imperative verb. That's what happened. Mm hmm. Interesting, very, 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 very interesting. Interesting. Can you describe the sentence? Can you de can you decompose the grammatical structure from the following? Sentence. Main verb and subject is drive. Exactly. Main verb, subject, object, preposition, phrase, and modifiers. So, but it's interesting because subject, the implying subject is not explicitly mentioned in the sentence, but it is understood to be a generic entity or the person or organization being addressed. In this context, it could be a business or someone involved in self, but it's drive. It's not telling you explicitly, it's being very generic to a broader audience, okay? Drive. Sell with fast, affordable, uh, delivery in Spanish esto es conduce ventas rápidas con entregas a, con entregas acordes o con entregas sí, con en, exacto. conduce ventas rápidas ah ok lleva 
lleva o, o lidera las ventas con rápido, exacto, lidera las ventas con un accesible y rápido, es, libera, lidera las ventas con un accesible y rápida entrega, exacto. But is this, is this is the action, for example, with a lot of copywriters here. Is this, is like, holy F. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So this copywriter, this is also interesting from the copywriters. What are the frameworks that copywriters use? Ada model, problem agitating solution, features, advantage, benefits, the four piece, problem, promise, proof, and proposal, before, after, bridge, testimonial, and social proof. And even though this is part of the copywriting framework, testimonial and social proof, holy hell, storytelling. I am, I am 100% in this, copywriter, Problem solution and you take close. The five W S and H who what who what when where why and how. Answering this question help provide a comprehensive overview of the problem and service in a clear and structured manner. Mm, interesting the four piece problem 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 promise proof and approval. Ada model. Stand for attention, interest, desire, and action. Damn. So the ADA model. Who the F defined this? The ADA model. Holy F. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. In marketing, of course, trust. La confianza es el pegamento que une a la, ciudad, a la sociedad y construye relaciones sólidas y fiables. Trust. TLV. Attention, interest, desire, and action. Very, very interesting here. Drive self with fast. Okay. Which, which of the uh, from the following sentence? Which Framework exactly from the following sentence, which frameworks belong or to which framework it belongs? To which framework it belong? F 
feature advanced benefits feature advanced benefits the given sentence drive self fast uh, feature advanced benefits feature advanced the advantages implying the speed and affordability of the delivery and the benefit the benefit to the audience or customer is that utilizing fast and affordable delivery method will help drive uh, will help drive sales. This is also interesting because, especially as a writer, when you want to sell a particular idea or something, so writer writing and reading, so writing, reading and speaking are crucial part of our life in a way that we can not only provide value to others, solve their problems, and also solve our inner problems. <laughs> oh my god, the all right, feature advantage benefit, feature advantage benefits. Okay. Interesting feature advantage benefits. So drive sales with fast affordable delivery. Lidera ventas de manera rápida y accesible con en, libera ventas con una entrega accesible y rápida. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and, and it is funny because a lot of people then will ask you, like, okay, good that you know how to use the language, okay? So good that you know how to use the language in a way that is wonderful and help you to yourself, right? So good, good. Uh, because, uh, yep. Mm-hmm. So because is that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. interesting holy hell just like we dive deep into this rabbit hole, like, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, I just want to take a, a pause here. Yeah, I would like to take a pause here. Oof.
and we're back okay 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 so we were here looking at all the different features that Shopify provide to merchants so you have Shopify payments okay so merchants can start to receive uh, payments and process them uh, through their most pop so through credit card or any other popular payment methods right so channels allow them to promote their products or service beyond the online stores across different channels and keep track their sales in one single place fulfillment so shopify handles fulfillment product storage which is part of the inventory a video that actually I look at this okay, a video from this uh, what is no this is channels yeah do, do, do the fulfillment here and uh, the fulfillment here uh, so for example here they can sell like this so Shopify provide fulfillment. Okay, so Shopify provide fulfillment. Okay, so Shopify provide fulfillment from this. So Shopify provide fulfillment, product storage, and returns. So while merchants can focus on their business you have markets where you can now sell globally again the whole point of this is to recognize that Shopify after all they aimed to be a platform for only channel commerce meaning this business strategy that aims to provide a seamless buying experience across all of sell channels okay so they also provide other features so you have Shopify payments okay so where merchants can start receiving payments so merchants start uh, start getting payments uh, from your credit card or your most popular or any other popular payment method like American Express, Visa, Mastercard, Google Pay, Apple Pay, Shop Pay, okay? Channels where he, you can promote your product and service across different uh, channels and keep track each one of them from one single panel, okay? So whether it is or through social media, YouTube, TikTok, uh, or Instagram uh, or perhaps through digital marketplace let's say Google search uh, or put your brand in one of the top wholesale e-commerce or, or wholesale retailers such as Walmart okay Walmart Target the so Target is uh, Target USA is another wholesale shop Target online and in store for everything Mm -hmm. Interesting. The chain and uh, the operator chains of discount department store. Uh, a chain of discount department store. It's the 17th re largest retail in the United States. The company is one of the largest American owned private employee employers. Jesus, how many numbers monthly? God damn it! <laughs> god, 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 god damn it! Interesting, and that's not that much 
you know that's not that much people they hire the company is one of the largest American private owned private Walmart number of employees 2.3 million do you have any total here I've got total damn son <laughs> 145 million people <laughs> Jesus 145 million people yeah damn god damn god god damn <laughs> financial activities credit intermediation and related activities Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> so industry industry sector. Employment by major industry sectors. Exactly. Industry. There's not anything related to service. Holy hell. One hundred forty five. Total known form, 133, Jesus fucking Christ, 145 million people, God damn it, all right, Jesus, <laughs> it's like Jesus, it's like Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's like Jesus. It's like Jesus. Holy moly. Okay. So this is because it I enter into this rabbit hole, okay? Of uh, holy in IBM Amazon in twenty twenty two. Ally Universal, FedEx, Corporation, Home Depot, Kroger, United Health Group, Berkshire Hathaway, <laughs> Target Corporation, the Central American Retailer. DHL, Starbucks, holy fuck, <laughs> JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Mexico, ATN. There is no, there is no Apple here. Sinex, Raytheon Technology. Ah, this is part of the American. Uh, the military complex, Raytheon, HCA Healthcare, AT&T, JP Morgan Chase, Cognizant Technology Solution, Deloitte, United Parcel Service, United Health Group, Mm-hmm. <laughs> Total non form. What the fudge? Federal government. Jesus, in the government were 21 million people, Jesus, <laughs> you don't have idea, no man, oh, oh my, oh my, yeah, what the, oh man, <laughs> oh man,
Oh man, oh, oh, oh. We should in the hospital. Team, <laughs> monetary authorities and central bank. Holy hell, 70,000 people, man. Financial and insurance. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the whole point of looking at this is, uh, well, to see the amount of employee uh, in the industry sectors. Burio Labor Statistics. This is a very interesting website, my friend. Burio Labor Statistics. Okay. Murió labor statistics. Productivity increased 5.2% in quarter 3, 2023. Unit labor cost decreased 1.2% in annual rate. It's like, oh, right. Holy subjects that do publications. Economy release, productivity and technology, employment projection. Okay, productivity and the cost. Cost by industry, manufacturing, mining, select, service, wholesale, retail, trade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. Innovation is at the heart of what we do at Kizik. We're not just creating one way to make hands free shoes, we're finding you every way. There's a lot to consider to get our hands free technology into new designs. We'll start with sketching, creating mood boards, building mobile fidelity prototypes, and testing the technology components. Then bring it to 3D software, and then we'll test the concepts until they're ready for production. When customers buy online, they're excited to get their product. We've partnered with Shopify to get our shoes to them as fast as we can. The way Shopify has scaled with us has made our growth feel seamless. Now that we don't have to worry about fulfillment, we can focus on our mission at Kizik. Yeah, but this is one of the features that Shopify provides to merchants. So Shopify, Shopify payments, channels, fulfillment. So Shopify handles fulfillment. Shopify handles fulfillment, product storage, and return. So business can merchants can focus on running their business. So the other is markets. You know, this, you know, markets. So markets. Okay. The other is markets. Because markets allow you to sell globally with a tool that localized storefront. Calculate duties and taxes. Compliance with international and local regulation. Handle cross-border complexity and makes shipping easier and more cost-effective. So this is the summary of markets. Uh, so with markets, okay? So merchants can sell globally or this cross-border selling, okay? So merchants can do cross, can do cross-border selling, okay? So merchants can do cross-border selling, with tools exactly so merchants can do cross-border selling with tools to localize storefront or sales channels okay with tools to localize exactly with tools that localize well with tools that localize storefronts 
manage compliance, manage international international compliance handles taxes and duties okay so localized storefronts manage international compliance handles taxes and duty payment as well manage compliance and local regulations okay merchants can do cross-border selling with tools that localize storefronts manage international compliance and regulation handle taxes and duties okay handle taxes and duties payments payment language with this localized store for managing international compliance and regulations handle taxes and duty payment language while providing while providing shipping while providing international shipping while providing affordable international shipping while providing affordable international shipping which is something that I have ex which is something that I know with tools that localize the storefront manage international compliance and regulations handle taxes and in singular handle taxes and duties payment language while providing affordable international shipping okay foreign exchange while providing affordable international shipping that's it mm -hmm. while providing international affordable shipping the other is capital Flex flexible funds to help merchants manage and grow their business. Another feature is capital. Okay. Easily access. Easily access to funds and loans to grow to grow your business so capital marketing Shopify make it easy for merchants to attract and sell the right customer with integrating marketing support so more marketing if you want to take a look at this here mm -hmm. so market your business one platform to find and sell the right shopper wherever they are reach your potential customer mark market your business connect with every customer Shopify make it really easy to run a campaign all I have to do is set my daily budget get to know your audience automate and personalize message build unique group customer group optimize your marketing with data data driven insights get to know your audience shop if i make it really easy to run a campaign all i have to do is set my daily budget mm -hmm. But I, again, the using is this. It is funny because the using is uh, this. So actions, actions like this. Market your business, reach your potential customer. That's part of the marketing. And it talk in this action, in the present, here. It's not, it's not 
they, they talk in an imperative because this is actually what they do. They're not doing this, they do this. <laughs> Interesting. Star selling with Shopify today. Exactly. But this is what they do. Optimize your marketing data. Get to know your, you know, this is the things that they do. Connect with every customer. Reach your potential customer. Market your business and that kind of thing. This is very, 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 very interesting. Very, very interesting, by the way. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. It's like they talk in this actions. And they talk in this verb. Uh, this verb time. Because this is what they do. I'm not doing it. I am. I am. I do, my friend. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Interesting. I, I do this. Exactly. I do this. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So marketing. Okay. Shopify make it easy for merchants to attract and sell to the right customer with in integrated marketing support. So Shopify make it easy to sell or Shopify make it easy to attract exactly so Shopify make it easy to attract and sell all right so Shopify make it easy to attract and sell to the to the right customer so Shopify make it easy to attract and sell to the right customer mm -hmm. so Shopify make it easy for merchants to attract and sell to the right customer with integrated marketing support so it make it easy to attract and sell to the right customers with inter integrated with integrated marketing support marketing support is this it is funny because this is actually what i'm looking this is a pattern that i'm looking here especially when they want to provide solutions like that create your website and that kind of thing you know sell your product website builder 2023 create a website in minutes Create a website in minutes. You know, even though they are telling how to do this, no string attach, a home for every business. Build your own website in few steps. A website builder with perks, 24 seven support. What is a website builder? Mm-hmm. A website builder with perks. Build your own website in few steps. You know all of this type of uh, word they use. Customize your store from Shopify thing build for commerce. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very, very, very exclusive on the Shopify theme store. Shopify themes built for commerce. So this is themes. So you wanna take a you wanna take a close is you gonna go back here, manage your business, sell online, sell in person, POS, sell globally with market. You know, Sell across border, scale without limits. Mm 
Mr. Beast, Jones Road, Fija, Walk London, Suri, CDLP, Wolfpack. The platform built for global success, create a world of opportunity. Nuferton, market has been a game changer for us. Now it is easy to hone in on new global audience and to customize the setup to suit our business. Features that fuel international sales. Features that fuel international sales. The solution that will change your world. And you add a market. Is Brazil, Canada, United Kingdom, Mexico, Australia, Germany. Exactly, it showed the latest, uh, the latest select in Japan. Globe trotting, globe trotting, trotamundos, globe trotting, globe trotting, globe trotting, enterprise, first time explorers, and everyone in between. Enterprise. Meat markets, small business. Text the water with no commitment. But they're using a ceramics for this. They're using a ceramics for this. One pay checkout, draft order, shop pay. You got this and we got you. The best brands are going global. Be one of them. This is interesting because this actually was a way to identify if the copywriting, you know, and how they target and how they talk about things. Mm -hmm. So that'll be all for this video. Uh, yeah, that'll be all for this video. Take care. Bye-bye.